Hey guys, Jessica Damu here, and today I'm showing off the alternate color Xeon suits from the Gundam MSA action figure line. So, the MSA line had a couple different variations of this and that, and one of them was rollout colors, if you will, for the Federation. There was a, a dark colored gun can, a dark colored gun tank, and a dark colored uh, Gundam. These were called the real type versions. Sometimes people call them the rollout color. And Xeon had just a few versions of these itself, as far as U.S. release goes. They had the camouflage Zaku 2, which this is a custom bazooka I have on him. It has this nice camo color to it. This, I think, though, is actually the Japanese version, as it doesn't have a number on its shield. Some of the... Uh, rollouts or alternate colors had Japanese versions and some of them didn't. The blue gog is an example of one that didn't. This is a blue gog number 07 and uh, it's absurdly rare. Not because of the 07 but just finding a blue gog. There was no Japanese release of the blue gog. So these two were released in America. The others are what are known as the Okawara version. And the Okawara version are kind of going off the original mecha designer of Mobile Suit Gundam and what his color renditions of things looked like. And so we have the Okawara Dom, which kind of looks hot pink. Uh, if you opened up some Pepto-Bismol and poured it out all over the Dom, that's what it would look like, to quote my friend, Gundam Collector who said that years and years ago. It's a custom weapon effect I made for the bazooka. It's pretty cool. I have a review for all of these figures if you want to see them in detail. That was very different. Very, very different. The Okawara Goof, which looks just absolutely amazing. I love the Okawara Goof. Looks so cool. These figures used to be kind of hard and kind of rare to get. But lately I've been seeing them on eBay, lately as of 2017, March, you know, of 2017. I've been seeing these guys for not too bad of prices. This came in a two-pack with the Prototype Gundam, or Real-Type Gundam, Japanese release. It, you know, RX-78-1, it, it all depends on which, what, which way you want to call it. It was a version 1. It was the same as the U.S. real type, just with panel lighting. But different than the uh, prototype Gundam version 2, which was a different design than the RX-78-2. And then Shar Zagok, Okawara version. I actually love the Okawara version of Shar Zagok. I've always hated that salmon pink that you know, the Shar figures always came in. It's just He's the Red Comet. Let's all agree to make him red, right? <laughs> if the Red Comet was red, this is what it would look like, and it looks absolutely amazing. If Char makes a cameo in my stop-motion animation series, Gundam Father of Peace, this is what he will be piloting at Jabrow. Well, I hope you enjoyed looking at these alternate color Xeon suits from the Mobile Student Action figure line. I love this line. It's quite durable. The parts can be swapped. On a lot of them, and they're easily to cus easy to customize. When they fall off your shelf, you just stick the arm back on, put it back on your shelf. It's awesome. Uh, it's too bad this toy line is long dead. Well, thanks for watching. Please like, favor, and subscribe as I post a new toy review just about every other day. And check out my eBay store. There's a link down below in the more info area, and sometimes I have cool toys in there. Later.